Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about module context, which lets us share code across component instances. This again is a concept that makes sense only when we have an example to work with. So let's dive into the code straight away. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called counter.svelte. Within the file, I'm going to implement a simple counter. Add a script section, declare a variable called count initialized to zero. In the markup, let's display the count value. H2 tag the count is within curly braces, the count variable. Let's also add a button to increment the count value. So button, the text is increment. And on click of this button, let's add a handler called click handler. Define the function in the script section. So function, click handler, and within the function, count plus equals one. Now that we have the counter, let's import it in app component. Import counter from dot slash components slash counter dot swelled. In the markup, let's invoke the component three times. Let's save all the files and head to the browser. On page load, we should see the three count values and three increment buttons, each pair corresponding to one instance of the counter component. What is important to notice here is that each component instance maintains its own count state. If I increment counter one, its value increments. The remaining two counters are unaffected. And this is the case with the other two counters as well. For a majority of your components, this is all you'll ever need. But if at all, you come across a scenario to share code across the component instances, for example, to maintain some data synchronization across all the instances, you can make use of module context. We can achieve this code sharing by declaring another script tag but this time with context is equal to module specified on the tag. For our example, let's track the total count for all the counter instances. So script tag, but this time context is equal to module. Within this module context, as we can call it, let's declare another variable called total count and initialize it to zero. In the click handler though, apart from incrementing the count value, we can also increment the total count value. Total count plus equals one. Next, we are going to create a getter function for this total count value. So export function get total count and within the function body, we return total count. This function can be invoked in the counter component itself, but since it is shared, a better place would be to invoke it once in the app component. This is the reason you see the export keyword. Back in app component, we can now import it. Import counter and get total count from counter.svelte. And in the markup, we can add a button that simply alerts the total count value. So button alert total count is the text. And on click of this button, we are going to alert get total count. Make sure to include the parentheses. If we now save all the files and head back to the browser, we see the alert button and the three counters. Initially, if I click on alert total count, we can see the value is zero. 
Let's now increment the first counter by 3. Get total count and now it is 3. Increment the second counter twice and the count value is 2. But the total count value is now 5. So the total count value is being shared across the counter components. Increment the third counter by 5 and the total count is now 10. So if you want to share code across the component instances, you can make use of the module context. Now one point I would like to mention about module context is that the variables defined in module scripts are not reactive. We assigning a value like we have done here for total count will not trigger a component re-render even though the variable itself will update. So if you were to get rid of the local count value and render total count instead of count, go back to the browser, the total count is rendered. However, if we click on the increment button which increments the total count, the component does not re-render. If we get the total count from the getter function, the value has been updated as you can see. So to repeat myself, variables defined in module scripts do not re-render the component when a new value is assigned to them. Which raises a very important question. What if you want to share values between multiple components but ensure the component re-renders to reflect the updated value in the browser? Well, the answer to that question is a concept called stores in Svelte. What are stores and how do they work? Let's take a look at that in the next few videos. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.